Dark Kickers is the first game of the tactical game series of the same name developed by a Romanian in the studio Killhouse Games, which submitted its first project on Steam Greenlight in 2013 and was thereafter endorsed by over 52,000 users, resulting in Valve approving the game. Over one year later, the final version of the product was published on Steam. Since then, Killhouse Games has produced one spin off and one sequel to the original game, which enjoy positive reception. This year, the first Door Kickers installment will celebrate its 10th anniversary, and because of that I would like to go back in time and review the entire franchise to compare the three games and see how the series developed over the course of one decade. The first game was published on Steam in October 20, 2014. This strategy game combines such elements as top-down point of view on the map, which allows the player to control the entire SWAT team and plan the undercrime operations in the deployment phase by drawing paths for the troopers to follow. Each SWAT member has different kinds of purchasable gear at their disposal, which you can unlock for points attained after completing missions. The equipment ranges from tactical gadgets to armor and firearms, which allow for proper adjustments to specific situations while carrying out missions. Every piece of equipment features certain characteristics that may impact your trooper's performance. This on the other hand may also be improved by unlocking skills in the so-called Squat Doctrine Tree, where you can unlock them to level up your team and improve each of the four available classes of SWAT troopers, who have different purposes in combat. In this way, we are moving on to Door Kicker's Action Squad, an action side scrolling platform spin off of the game series created by Killhouse Games in association with Pixel Short Studio, which saw its premiere on Steam on September 10th, 2018. Unlike the previous game, this one puts you in the role of a SWAT operator tasked with carrying out special missions and accompaniment with retro style graphics and cartoonish depiction of violence perpetrated less seriously than the rest of the series. In contrast to the previous game, in Action Squad you can play as a lone trooper or play with your friend who may take control over the second SWAT operator. However, just like in the first Door Kickers game, in this installment you can purchase miscellaneous pieces of equipment and improve the skill tree of each of the six playable characters who have distinctive properties and sets of skills you can apply to complete their levels. And now let's have a look at Door Kickers 2 Task Force North, a sequel to the first game which was published on Steam on November 3rd, 2020. Despite the retention of many features of the first installment, Task Force North, unlike the first game where you can play as the SWAT team, places you in the command of US Army Rangers, CIA operators and fictional Novaraki militia. The action of Door Kickers 2 takes place in the fictional Middle Eastern country of Novaraki, where your units are tasked with carrying out anti-terrorist operations. Given the circumstances Circumstances amongst the weaponry are such new devices as grenade and rocket launchers, frag grenades and even night vision goggles, which you can put on your troops' helmets to have a clear view in the dark. Unlike the first installment, this game allows you to modify your weapons by mounting silencers, optical sights and applying various ammo types. Of course, the same goes for the armor vests, which you can equip with bulletproof plates of various armor types. Apart from visible changes in 3D modeled environment and advanced AI diversity, Door Kickers 2 features adjustable movement, which allows for a manageable tempo of your troops and facilitates pathing creation in the planning phase. And that's pretty much the evolution of the Door Kickers franchise. If you have played any of the games mentioned in this video and you would like to share your opinions on them, please make sure to leave them in the comment section down below to see which one is more popular among the player base. Thanks for watching and see you next time.